Now that I have some color palettes, some colors to work with, I'm going to try to apply that to my site. So um, we're going to look at the base places where colors are assigned. So we have uh, these buttons. Let me just click off that. So this button, it does go to a darker version of that color on hover. So however you want to do that, going from a dark to a lighter color on hover, but that's a pretty common thing to keep it within the same hue, but just darker or lighter. And then of course these symbols are in that same base key color for this palette. Uh, the photos are all the same, but there's an overlay color, which is that that special color in the palette. And the type, the this type is a not black, it's a lighter gray, so we could target that. Here's our key color again. Another button. And then of course there's things that they decide in this uh, template to leave black or a dark dark gray that we of course could change and titles we could change and background so this is a very you know it's a very light gray but that subtle difference is helpful and they did a default white for the background here it may not be a pure white uh, and you can see how that subtle gray helps us see these cards here as individual units uh, and then the photo and then this dark gray here. So we'll start first with the obvious key color and then we'll go back and look at how to do some of the other color backgrounds. So we'll use the same method here and if it's something that we've already put down uh, like this this button, we, it, it already went through a font change with the uh, rocket. So let's look at that and here we see button XL um, and the button primary is where the color is. And it's easy to find if you just you know look for the thing here. So one of the tools we can use with Chrome Developer is to look at the colors we're thinking of before actually applying it. So I was thinking of doing the reds, and I have two reds, a bright red and a dark red. So I'm going to copy my hex code here, and I can see what it's going to look like just by clicking on it here and you know I could click all around and try some different things or do a red but it's not going to be exactly the red that I was looking at in my palette so I'm going to actually paste in that red from my sheet and this is the red that I was going to do okay uh, that's not bad and of course I don't know what photo I'll have here but uh, that does give us more contrast against the white type inside so that's a good thing so you can hit the color box or just paste in the color you're trying there so with the border and that that works okay so let's try that uh, did I copy that yet button XL I did not so let's make sure we get that so having done the test colors here, I won't have to actually type anything. So I'm going to, um, oh, what should I do? I, I could keep these as a separate thing or put them in line with where we are. I think I'll keep them. It's good to keep content together. So right under the button Excel, let's do the button primary with their new colors. So it is kind of funny that one of them defaulted to lowercase and the other uppercase, depending on how I selected it, but that's okay. So we'll save that and refresh. So now it, it is there. When I hover, I still have the old hover color. That's not so good. So to change the hover color, it's a little bit trickier because it's not it's not showing up. I can just get the normal color. But up here has the HOV. If I click on that, then select hover now it shows me the styles for when it's hovering. So it's really similar, button primary, but just with the uh, colon hover. So let's copy that. And as per standards, I'll put it after the base color. And I wanted to try the darker red on hover. So let's put that in. And because the template does color, background color, and border color, 
and they're not the same in the template, but I'm going to make them the same here so it disappears. The other alternative would be to make the borders transparent to override the uh, template. Okay, so on a refresh, it gets darker to the darker red. I think that's great. Okay, so I've kind of decided there on my key color that I would use is that lighter red. So let's apply that to most of the places where we have the yellow. So here, on, and when I just move over this, it says path, but I'm not seeing any color rules there. Not here, not there. Ideally, the color will pop up in the right place when we hover over it. Get rid of this. It's not the path. It should be that circle. Oh, yeah, okay. So it's using the variable. So again, um, this variable, let's take that as a whole thing. So it's the RGBA colors, it's not showing the color box, which is the easy way to identify them. So I'm going to put it after it here. And my primary button is my primary color. So I'm going to copy the whole hexadecimal, including the hashtag. I'll leave the opacity thing there. So I'm going to um, go over get the right thing. I think I'll just go over this whole important thing to Oh, what's what's counteracting it? The important one. Okay, fine. I'll put that back in. There we go. So that last part, the exclamation important, means that it's going to, even though it would normally be overridden by something else, we're going to make sure that it hits it. Okay, that gave us the circles. So this, okay, hover, that's it, yeah. So it's using the RGBA version, so it can do a transparency of it. So we did not uh, grab the RGBA version of that color. So let's see if we can go to it here and change color format to hex and put in our, nope, I missed. Put in our base red, okay, and then let's go to RGBA. There we go. That's a good cheater way to do it. So the problem with uh, RGB and RGBA is it doesn't let you um, copy each individual thing, but I think that having just done this, I could copy it from here. Portfolio item link. I don't think I have that already. Copy the whole thing. Go down to the portfolio items. We'll do it in the middle. So one thing I lost on that was I didn't get the uh, transparent version. So let's, I don't remember what it was. Let's refresh this and see what it was. So it's going totally opaque because it's not a transparent version. The old version has an A right? A for alpha and 0 0.9 as the last digit there. So here it's using spaces instead of commas. So let's try to make it more like this one um, with the 0 
So here it is. We need to have an A in there to get the transparency. I'll put back in commas, comma, and a 0 0.9. Save that. Refresh. So now when I go over it, it makes it semi-transparent, but it's the red is so much more opaque than that yellow. So I think we need to lower the opacity even more. Let's let's see how much we need to lower it. So here in the tool, I can go to seven. That's better. Yeah, okay. So let's do point seven. Okay, and next thing down, this little yellow guy. And this one's, I don't know, it's, it's such a, it's a custom thing that I don't know that we're going to use, this timeline thing, but if we're trying to keep the template, I think we'll end up deleting this later. So I'll go ahead and put it in. And our color, find a, hex version of it. Border, that would be the gray outer circle. Oh, what? Where'd it go? How did I kill it? That's interesting. Did I miss a... So pasting that in killed a bunch of stuff there with the layout on those. Timeline, LIs. Let's see if we can target that better. timeline image, but these are mm, what changed? So here's the original one down here. Absolute 100 left. Everything is the same except for the color. I don't I don't get why that would huh. Let's put it in a comment. Definitely messed it up. Oh, so these four items are counteracted, so the left with height and margin. Left with height and margin. So I'm going to make sure that in this copy that those are commented out, because I was accidentally turning them all back on with my copy of the code there. There we go. Okay, and I'm, uh, again, I, I'm not gonna keep this element, so it's kind of weird to even mess with this. Um, why is it even hidden? I don't know. I don't, I'm not really concerned about this one. I can't find it either. It's strange that it's kind of grayed out too. Okay, so those are the um, the basic ones. We'll just leave it at that for those. So the hover color, this icon background, the button color. So it doesn't seem like it's much, but. Uh, 
that's one thing. So let's uh, we'll do another recording where we look at getting the colors for the um, backgrounds. That's our next most important thing.